Hey, look at that. Keepable hands. To draw a third resource for that. Hey, found it. We have a permafrost. Hopefully, push this through on turn four. Get our engine going. Hopefully they play unit and don't just kill this. Dead. It's unfortunate. Yeah, suffocated. I'm just gonna pass the turn here. I could have like dark returned this, but I think I'd rather hold it in case I find a haunting scream. Only one more resource off of getting the Thunderstrike Dragons down. That's correct. I like the echo mechanic. This is like good pure value. The sweet thing about it is when you draw an additional copy, so when you dark return a dragon, it dark returns you two dragons. Looks like our opponent's playing a controlling deck, so having a bunch of dragons to beat down with is probably going to be pretty good. Another dark return is excellent. The dragons should thoroughly overwhelm them. Yep, dragon's dead. Hopefully we'd hit a sigil so that way we can go dark return plus replay it. Yep, did you find your fifth resource? We did not. Ooh, and we found a haunting scream. So haunting scream puts this into play and gives it charge and flying and then it dies at the end of turn. But this dies when it hits our opponent anyways. We drew another haunting scream. Ooh, we actually missed on missed on drawing resources. We got one, two, three, four, five, seven, eight, nine cards in our hand. So I'm gonna go ahead and dark return the Gorgon fanatic to my hand and then replay it out here. One thing that's sweet, it keeps the flying and the charge from the haunting scream even after it dies, so it's a permanent modifier. Us picking up three cards, especially finding another dragon with two dark returns, probably got more than enough card advantage to grind them out of the game. Oh, they have to discard. Yep, sucks to be them. Alright, deck. I'm assuming this is dying before it hits them. Yeah, that's fine. Um, I'm just going to go ahead and put the Thunderstrike Dragon into play. Use all our resources this turn since we're, that's our bottleneck right now. Alright, Shadow Sigil. So I'm just going to go ahead and use Dark Return on... My dragon, which turns into a 6 6, and then it echoes. So, go ahead and replay that. And then, if I dark return the 6 6, it'll turn into a 7 7, and we'll get two 7 7s. It's super stalled and dead. Yeah, this is constructed. We uh, 03 to the draft very quickly. I wanted to swap, I wanted to put a couple polymorphs in here for some of the more expensive removal. The Death Strike's been medium, getting the double requirement for it has been a little rough. I think I wanted to trim a permafrost, or maybe an annihilate. Is polymorph fast? No, it's regular. Maybe just one. Polymorph seems fine because we have Lightning Storm to clean things up.
Hey, Porky Monster, you want to say hi to the internet? So late, say hi, Porky Monster. Hi, internet. Oh, look, we're on the play. All right, let's go ahead and play a fell banner out here. Hi. Hi. Good job, D. I don't know. The dra <laughs> You're very smart. Um, oh, oh, that's not what I wanted to do. Um, I'm actually going to bin one of these dire wood beast callers in case we find a call. Oh, you found your tablet? The dragon's been pretty good. It plays well with everything else we have going on. Like, generates value. It's a good quality two-for-one. It goes over the top of the aggressive decks and it grinds through what the control decks want to be doing. I have a permafrost here again. Hopefully they play out a troop and don't just kill this. Scheme, that's great. So we're going to have to draw three cards. Maybe I should have played this out. Really, pork monster. So we'll fight. This hits them. It sacrifices. We gain three life and draw three cards. There's a Herald Song, Shadow Sigil. So that's the downside with the Echo cards, is sometimes your hand gets too full. So one, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight. Nope, exactly nine. Yep. Scheme again. Okay, well, this is probably going to get him. When this hits our opponent, it creates two direwood beasts and puts them into play. So it makes two five fives. You want me to turn your tablet on? Is that where you're hitting me with it? On. You want to watch Barney? Oh, you know, I probably should have done a Herald song first here. Just in case I hit a... Uh, we hit a seat. That's fine. I think I'm just going to bend one of these extra Herald songs. Yeah. That's fair. So that makes all my guys have one life, and then usually they also play a card that... Uh, uh, what's it called? I'm just going to cycle this here. That uh, does one damage to everything. Haunting Scream is excellent. So, play this. Play Haunting Scream. Get this Dire Wood Beast Caller back. Uh, Permafrost this, so that way I can't block. Uh, attack for 12 here and get 10 more power from this Beast Caller. And we'll go ahead and scheme here. Um, I think I just want more threats at this point, so I'll take the Storm Dancer. That's the card I'm talking about. Does one damage to everything. It's very possible I should have one of these in my deck with the Lightning Storms that I'm playing, or a couple of these. It's kind of expensive, though, uh, in terms of resources. Uh, yeah, Permafrost, that one. Attack you with both of these, down to five. Play a Dargan. Doesn't seem likely to fade. Change, you're not gonna be willing to change. You did to, to say no. That. Ooh, a bigger chest inside the chest. I'm just gonna play till I lose, okay? We're on the play again. We have another good hand. Let's have a fanatic. Fanatics in the opener are just so they're just not fair. This card, this this card's so much fun. Just a simple man who wants to draw a bunch of cards. 
Hopefully he plays... Uh, if he plays a unit out, I don't know if I'll levitate it or not, because levitate's valuable for pushing the Worgen through. We also don't have another resource in hand, so, like, cycling this on their unit that they play could be okay. Um, how does the GS work? Protect it. But not battle damage. If I levitate this, do I still draw a card? Anyone in chat? I hope there's enough enough delay for you to answer this before I rope out. If I levitate this, do I still draw a card? I know it gets rid of the Aegeus. Or the Aegis. I'll still draw. I'm just going to start my turn. Hopefully we just hit a shard. And we did not. That's unfortunate. Alright. Sure. Play this. Um, hmm. I'm gonna bin the beast caller for now, so that way if we hit a, a uh, what's it called, we have a better chance. If we hit a haunting scream, we can put five fives into play. I knew this would break the Aegis. I didn't know if I would still draw a card while breaking the Aegis. Missing on the shard. The resource feels real bad here. I guess if we would have played this, I would have just gotten silence, so that's fine, I guess. All right, there's that. Here's my fanatic. Pass the turn. See, he's got another one of these. They just ran this out on three, so they might have another silence effect here. No blocks. So next turn, we can permafrost this plus levitate this if he has another blocker. Sword. That's kind of strange that he didn't attack with this when I had a way to remove it. Um, I'm just going to go ahead and play out another Fnatic here. We're not quite at low enough life yet. Man, that's tough. Alright, I'm going to go ahead and... Uh, well, I guess I'll just let that continue. I'm going to levitate this at end step to cycle... Need to find some answers to their stuff now. Would like to find a scream, ideally. We could permafrost this and then scream. Uh, let's do this and then Harold's song. That's not a scream. Would have been that. I think I'm supposed to preserve my life total a little bit here and polymorph this. And also cut some of his war cry off. And scheme next turn to hopefully find a, uh, a scream. Yeah, you're a monster. Maybe I should just take in the flyer off. I don't know. The war cry seemed pretty good, though. Wow, no haunting scream still. That's tough. Um, I'll take the dragon for now. Uh, I can go ahead and do this. So I can play dragon next turn. And I can play this on his 3-3. Three, three. Seems fine. The only thing risky about the dragon is that um, if they have the destroy target troop with four power or more, it's going to be a little bit bad. So we're taking five. Oh, geez. Pretty probably just dead here. Where we could hit to like scream into double clasm. Are we just dead on board? Or four? Yep, exactly dead. You plan for dinner? <laughs> He's heavy. Didn't you? No, I'm a winner all the time. Sounds great. I didn't even approve of this bonus stream. There's something I need to get done. Friday is not a stream day. Yeah, you need to go take a nap. So complaining that you're tired. Come here. All right. Come here. Go ahead and do this. 
depleted on the ship of sigil. Um, the lightning storm could still be good. I'm gonna bin a fanatic for now. I should play this one, so otherwise it'll be depleted next time. They missed a resource. Sounds great. He's probably dead. Or our zero percent to connect rate. Right? Play this Herald song here. Find another Gorgon. That's pretty good. I'm gonna bend this lightning storm. We might live to regret that. I'm just gonna dark return one of these so that we have another threat to play next turn. Hopefully, one of these can connect and we can start snowballing them. Or they just don't have any resources and they concede. So one of the interesting things about the mulligan system, if you haven't played this game before, is that your mulligan is guaranteed to have between two and five resources in it. So the first one with no, your first hand is like genuine RNG, like seven cards at random from your deck. And then your second hand has some computer wizardry in there to affect it. Okay. This hand is, we had to keep this seven because you only get one mulligan. Uh, this hand's actually very good if we hit another... We hit a, what's it called? Okay, that could be, hopefully we hit a Shadow Sigil here. Ding, all right, and we'll bin. Let's bin the Beastmaster. So that way if our opponent, um, if our opponent like plays a three drop next turn, we can Haunting Scream it back into play and get some like 10 power on board. Play a three drop, play a three drop. Whoa, that's a fast spell. They should not have done that on their turn. Now I'm just like, I probably would have gone for it anyway, but now it's just like, a super free roll to do this. So play this attack. This puts let's do five fives into play, and then it dies. And the next turn we can dark return it and do it again, or just a uh, haunting scream it. Another thing we could do next turn is if we find a um, if we find a sigil that makes a temporary resource, we can herald song, ditch the fanatic, and then haunting scream the fanatic. That doesn't seem awful either. How do you want to deal with my ten power worth of beasts? Uh, I'm gonna do this because we really want to hit a resource. Found a six drop. All right, I'm gonna bend the. Lightning storm. What is this dredge? It's like a reanimator control variant, basically. And I'm gonna go ahead and dark return. And this card that uh, we got this flying and charge on, it still has flying and charge. The modifiers are permanent in this game like they are in Hex. So next turn we can play this. And it'll be able to infiltrate again when it comes into play. And put 10 more power worth of beasts into play. Just beastly. I think maybe I should have kept the lightning storm and been to this just so we could haunting scream this back into play. Alright, it's a flag guy, so we could block this. We hit a sigil, so let's permafrost this nerd. Gonna concede, said well played, yep. 
So we'd permafrost that, play this, crack them for 12, and then have 20 power worth of beasts in play. Alright, we're gonna try and play and get through this silver too, at least, then I'm gonna call it an afternoon. I'm getting a little bit hungry. I'm gonna hang out with the family. Thanks everyone for hanging out. If you're an experienced Eternal player who happened to the stream uh, and you have suggestions for cards I should add to my deck, feel free to let me know. Man, <clears throat> this hand's so good with a second resource. <coughs> this hand's a little medium. It's got a haunting scream at least. Make a template for Eternal 2. I probably should. <clears throat> That's an excellent draw. If we're a real professional here, we'll draw an Infiltrate Troop that we can bin to bring back with this next turn. Scheme's not bad. Uh, Lightning Storm may or may not be good. Um, <clears throat> I'm going to bin it for now. We have a... Uh, hopefully I don't live to regret that. All right, we got our Infiltrator, so that's sweet. So next turn, we can go Herald Song, ditch the Direwood Beast Caller, and then Haunting Tremor back into place. Hopefully it plays a... That's unfortunate. Uh, let's do this. I think I'm going for it here. Yeah, I'm just going to go for it here. I have Dark Returns in case it doesn't work out. So... Don't have a way to interact with that. Take a point. Yeah! Get my 10 power. End step. This dies. The reanimator draws this deck are so great where you just get to go Herald Song, Ditch Your Thing, Haunting Scream. Alright. Yep. This is fine. It's got a scheme for some selection. It's got levitates to cycle. It's got a permafrost for some interaction. It's got a top end of the dragon. I like this deck because it. Uh, I don't. I don't really know what the eternal format looks like in terms of like what's powerful and what's not. But this deck has some like aggressive draws, like what you just saw, where you just like get to put a, a th scary thing into play and put a bunch of power into play on turn two or turn three. But then it also has like. Um, I'm just gonna cycle this for now. It also has draws that are like slower and more controlling. Uh, okay, so we picked up those. Do I want to permafrost this is a question. I think I do. It's like, I'm just going to buffer my life total in the long run. Ugh, flying troops a real dagger here. Flying troop. I, I burned the permafrost assuming that this was going to be able to push through whatever blocker he put into play. It's a little unfortunate. No, the first badge is to denote who's going first in the current game. Another raptor, okay. And this is interesting. This is one of... The, okay, so what am I supposed to do here? I could play the beast, but he's likely going to leave at least one blocker back. But I guess if he only leaves one blocker back, I could like find a piece of removal with the scheme and push through it. Uh, I don't have Eternal Decklist posted anywhere yet. I'm going to need to figure that out. Put 
Opponent being conservative and leaving this back to player on Haunting Stream seems good. Uh, I'm just going to go ahead and burn this Levitate since they have Flyers anyways. This is Constructed. This is my cheap Constructed deck that I was cute and came up with. Uh, let's go ahead and Scheme. The old Impulse, look at my top four. I'll take a Gorgon Fanatic. Play this out past the turn. Yeah, I don't think I want to permafrost either of those. Next turn we can start slamming dragons into play. They found their third resource. Probably pretty good for them. Fanatic of their own. Sure. Hopefully they don't have removal for this dragon. If they have removal for the dragon, they get to hit me with the gorgon and draw a bunch of cards. They like have another permafrost or something. That's fine. Uh, yep, let's just deploy another dragon here, and I'm going to be conservative and hold back. And now if he kills one of these, I can dark return it, and this has echo, which says when you draw it, you get a copy. So if they kill one, I get back two of them, basically. So I'm going to go ahead and play this. I'm going to go ahead and attack with one of these. Start pressuring. See how aggressive he wants to get here. Yeah, I was going to say they could get really aggressive this turn. Um, yep, I'm going to block his 3-2 so he doesn't draw cards and gain life. We're going to take 6. Hopefully we find... Oh, he has another Raptor. Hopefully we find a, a Scream here. That would be great. We did not find a Scream. Hmm. So I could pig something. Yeah, I think I'm going to... Pig this, and then, like, permafrost this and just crack him for 10. That seems fine. So this turns his unit into a pig and kills it. And this... Permafrost this. And I'm going to attack with both of these and put him down to... 8. And then, what's in my crypt here? These each only cost 1, so I'm just going to hold on to these for now. All right, and you get your fanatic back. That's fine. He's going to hit us for two here with this. And then he has to leave this back or he's dead. And then we've got him dead to any removal spell here. That's not a removal spell. Um, I'm just going to attack with just this. He's still dead next turn regardless. Get back my fanatic. And then I think I'm actually just going to get back my uh, my Beast Caller as well. Just like put maximum amount of things on the table to have to deal with. They're dead in the air to these, and then we've got these things here as well. Alright, that should be... I guess they could hit a Permafrost here. Not technically be dead. They're still mostly dead even if they hit Permafrost. Alright, there's Permafrost. Sure. All right, scheme. Feeding time. That yeah, seems fine. So if I feeding time this, I can attack with everything and he's dead? Yeah. All right. Hit silver one. Look at that. All right, I'm going to go ahead. Uh, green, harsh rule. The uh, I'm not sure what, what is the green color, though. Has, has has a wrath. This blue color that I'm playing has uh, a pyroclasm in it, though. Woo, silver one. All right. Here's the, here's the deck list if people want it. I'm going to go ahead and I'll tweet a picture. All right, I'm going to go ahead and sign off, folks. Thanks for hanging out. Uh, we watched me draft and then 0-3 it, and then we won a bunch of games of Constructed at least. So 
I'm taking off. I'll probably be back later this weekend at some point. I'm just hanging around the house with the family. So when they when they're sleeping and I'm not sleeping, I'm usually playing games or writing. And I'll have all my writing done, so I'll just be playing games. So. Uh, make sure you follow on Twitch to get notifications when I go live. And you also follow me on Twitter and I post guy stream magic hex and eternal now on this channel. So you can see me post on there, which games I'm streaming when, if you're only interested in one of those three games or a couple of them. So peace folks. Also, uh, if you miss any of the stream and you want to see more eternal footage, um, I also streamed with this deck last night a little bit and there's archives on my YouTube channel, which is linked in the stream information below.